Okay. All right, we are going live. We are going live and just a couple minutes early on a 15, 5.15 start time. And we'll see what we have in the way of audio. And chipmunk voice. We're going to restart. We're going to restart. Okay, it says we are live. It says we are live. And I'm going to try to refresh this and see what we've got. See if we have good audio this time. And let's see who we have watching. Testing one, two, three. Testing the audio. Testing one, two, three. Testing the audio. We're going to talk about Omega watches today. Talk about Omega. And we're going to talk about Grand Seiko. Okay, good. Okay, so the very good news is I was able to restart the broadcast without creating a new event. So, we're making some progress, folks. We're making some progress. Remember the last couple times I had the chipmunk voice, I had to create a whole new event, and then you guys had to go into a whole new event. So that wasn't good. Cheetown's in the house. I see the lovely Brianna's in the house. Carlos is in the house. Blue Shirt Buddha's in the house. Long time no talk. And this is an intervention show. This is a special broadcast intervention show. We might even have to intervene with Lance. He might be near that keyboard getting ready to buy some other junk watch. we got to make sure we keep an eye on him. Jeepu's in the house. Craig, thoughts on the Omega Aqua Terra as an everyday watch? Let's talk about all this. We'll talk about Omega. We're absolutely going to talk about Omega because Tom is thinking about buying an Omega. So <clears throat> we're going to talk about Omega. Omega is an option. Omega is an option, but we're going to talk about that. <clears throat> the Aqua Terra, are you referring to the automatic or the quartz? And automatic, might as well go 9F if you want quartz, Jeepu in the house. Also, though, I do like the original Bond watch, the original quartz Bond watch. We talked about that on the channel before. You can buy them for like 1500 bucks used in good condition, and that's nice and thin and could be could serve kind of as an all-arounder because it's it's thin enough to do that see the problem with some of the omegas is they're a little bit on the thick side for an all-arounder more a straight up sport watch mighty route is in the house and uh... omegas quartz movements are probably still good the 9f is a lot more advanced though there you go <laughs> and stig says hello to lady brie and the mighty rat says hello and carlos says hello to everybody and uh, so there you go. Let's see what else we got going on. I'm going to catch up on the comments here. Uh, when a fella wants a wrench. Fella, F-E-L-L-A, wants a wrench. At least two members of the wrench gang need to nominate you to get a wrench. So start lobbying. Uh, let's see here. What else do we have? Uh, Tom is in the house. Tom, we're talking about you. We're talking about Omega. You are the subject matter of today's broadcast. The Tomster. The Tomster. And that's one of the reasons why we started a little bit later than normal. So, uh, let's see. Is Kyle in the house, too? Yeah, Kyle's in the house. Maybe we can get a report from the West Coast. We haven't had a report from the West Coast for a while. Okay, let's switch to Omega here real quick. Omega. Whoa, look at that piece right there. Look at the piece with the orange, that the Planet Ocean. Talk about it a little bit on the thick side. See, they made the Bond watch a little bit thinner this year. Okay, so they're, they're going the right direction. Let's look. I want to look real quick at this Aqua Terra because somebody mentioned the Aqua Terra, I think. Let's this thing load in here. $5,700, steel on steel. I'll let that load. Oh, by the way, the gold stunner is on the bench tonight. On the bench. Figured since we were talking about straight up sport watches, I would wear the 231. 231 on the show. So the 002 is on the bench next to the 005. Looking good. Looking sharp on the bench. On the bench. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I have to tell you, as the Archie would say, I have to be honest with you. I like the fact that this is a 41 mil watch. I like the non-skeletonized hands. I like the non-skeletonized hands. I'd have to see the watch in person, but I think it might be a stunner. 
Now, let's see what how thick this is. This is going to be very important here. Because 150 meters water resistance is plenty, in my opinion, in my honest opinion. 20, 20 millimeters between the lugs, that's good. How come it doesn't say the thickness? Do I have to look at the product sheet? Come on. Can somebody let me know in the chat what the thickness is on this thing? This is ridiculous. But they don't show that. Obviously, they don't want to show it because some of them are too fat. That's why they're not showing it. Power reserve 60 hours is okay. If you're wearing it often enough, that's a non-issue. They still don't give me the thickness. Somebody go to one of Tim's reviews and check on the thickness on this particular watch. Please do that for me. I can't. I just, I this just really burns me up that these websites don't give this information. This critical information. How thick is the watch? Is critical information. All right, now let's go to the other Seamasters. Give me a second here. Uh, oh, jeez. The collection. Okay, I guess we've got to go here. Seamaster. These websites are always absolutely terrible. All right, here's the 300M. All right, here's the 300M. And. Um, Okay, now, I have to be honest, Tom's looking at the one with the white dial. I, ha I just have to be honest with you guys. That blue dial with the red, Seamaster in red, and the red on the end of the second hand, that is stunning. That is a stunning combination. I, I hate to be the one to, to bear this news out, but that is stunning. Now, that said... Again, I'm not a big fan of the skeletonized hands, but I can make an exception on these because these hands are big enough to see. My old uh, Seamaster 120, the hands were pretty small, but these, the hands are a little bit bigger. So maybe I can make an exception. I think it's a pretty good piece. I think it's a pretty good piece. Let's see what the stats are on this. Can we click on this and get any stats? Maybe not. Oh boy. All right, let's let this load in. And then I'll cut back to it when I can get some some information here. Uh exploring the details. 42 mil. I'll show you something if I can get any freaking information at all here. I'll show you something. Um so far no good. Now I wonder I wonder if this is the one that Tom is talking about. I wonder if this is the one he's talking about with the white dial with the black bezel. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I still like the blue. I have to say I still like the blue. Um I just how thick is this one? The full collection. Here we go. Here's the full collection. Full collection, folks. Hmm. So, so there's the white dial. Whoops. I guess this is the only one with the white dial. <clears throat> now that's a 42 mil watch. Dun, 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 dun. Waiting for it to load in. Let's go check on the time while we're waiting for this to load in. All right, and while we're doing this, letting this load in, I'm going to get, um, and this is an intervention. This is a special broadcast intervention for Tom. And I'm going to get in here in the comments real quick and catch up just so that we don't fall behind. Uh, let's see. Uh, they made the Bond watch more ugly, says Leon. Um, let's see. A blue last night on the R Rich Buddy show. Okay. 
Lance, I don't like the yellow numbers in the NATO band on the new Bond Seamaster. There you go. I'm with you on that. I heard they made a Brisbane edition of the Aqua Terrors called Beef and Reef. <laughs> Carlos says, I'm very happy today. Investments are already higher than before the COVID fall. My son has got better grades this semester than any semester before. Yeah, we can talk about why stocks are, are doing okay. I think I have some ideas on that. And Blue for Bluefish Buddha's in the house. Uh, let's see. The, the Pierce Brosnan Seamaster is the most classic. Oh, I agree. It's nice and thin on the wrist. It's a nice one. Jaden's in the house. Congrats, Carlos. I was up 11% today. Jaden in the house. Good, doing good. Uh, hey, Joey. I hope. I'll, I'll comment on the, on the stocks right now. Um, the <laughs> if you think about it, most of the stocks are reflecting the bigger companies, you know, the Amazons of this world, the Home Depots, you know, the big companies. And because this government ordered shutdown has clear cut a lot of their competition, a lot of the small owner operated businesses that might try to compete with those big guys, they're being wiped out by this government ordered shutdown. And so I think most investors see that that's going to benefit these big guys, that, you know, these monopolies are going to just really do well. So congratulations, government. You clear cut all these small mom and pop businesses and you've allowed these huge businesses to become even more mop monopolistic in their operations. What do you think about that? How's that for controversy on the channel? The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. That's how that works. Congratulations. Okay, let's see here. Um, a lot of people make the mistake of getting the 41 Aquaterra over the 38.5 mil because they are men and they think they need the large size. 38.5 mil is so much nicer for most people. Triforce rich in the house. wonder how thick that one is. Uh, Car um, Carlos, uh, want to put me forward? Okay. Um, and Joey says, yes, Blue. Blue Don is the best. Uh, cool, Joey. Um, Carlo says, yes, fella. I support fella for the wrench. Okay, so we got one vote for fella for the wrench. We need, we need somebody else. <clears throat> he is original, that's for sure. I wish that the Bond movies would switch back to Rolex Sub, the pre-Maxi case one. <laughs> Lance in the house. That'd be a good move. Blue Shirt Buddha's in the house. I'll second uh, Fella for a watch. Okay, so Fella, fella gets a, wa gets a uh, wrench. Fella gets a wrench. Let's do that right now. <clears throat> okay. We got that taken care of. And David's in the house. Hi, Craig and all. Tom says it's good to have Craig's seal of approval. And he's given a, a muscle sig sign there. And let's see. But Tom, we're gonna, I'm going to suggest an, an option for you. I'm going to suggest an option that might be shocking, might be shocking. So stay tuned. Blue Shirt Boot is in the house. The Seamaster Omega is about 13.8 mils thick, I think. I think. We need to know, Tim. We need to know. Let's get some confirmation on that. Try to get a couple of sources on that because there's a lot of erroneous information floating around the interwebs. But if it is 13.8, that's acceptable. That's an acceptable thickness, in my opinion, for a sport watch. Not for an all-arounder. Now, don't get me wrong now. Not for an all-arounder, but for a sport watch. Lance is in the house. Um, yes, that white one is the one, Craig. Okay. So this unit right here. I have to say, I, I like it. I do. I do. I do like it. But I have to say, I like the blue better. And here's the controversial thing I'm going to say here now. Of course, you can get a discount on this watch. It's $5,200 list. You can get a discount on this watch. But I'm going to suggest something. It's something really, really uh, controversial here on the channel. I'm going to suggest that a 231 stunner in titanium, a 231 stunner, would be more comfortable on the wrist, would be more accurate, would be more interesting and would be just generally all around a lot more fun a lot more fun the OO the 231 not 002 
the 231 titanium titanium stunner titanium stunner and I have to tell you this is one of the most accurate 231's on the planet now this is not a box watch this is not a box watch it's had some use it's got some little scratches here and there you know little patina that you get on a watch that's actually been used the clasp in particular has a lot of scratches on it that's where you get a lot of scratches that's stainless steel by the way the rest is titanium and it's held up real well I'm going to suggest something shocking. <clears throat> I would sell this watch for 5000 shipped. Shipped. And you're getting the most accurate probably 231 on the planet. On the planet, 5000 shipped. But only to Tom. Only to Tom. This is a special special deal. Now you can probably buy some 231's for as little as $4,600. I think I've seen them that low. But they're not going to be the most accurate one on the planet. And uh, they're not going to have my seal of approval. And a one owner seal of approval watch. So there's a, there's a competitive option. A competitive option $5,000. No tax. No tax. Shipped there's a competitive option so the white dial Omega you can probably get a good deal on one from the Stevester I would contact the Stevester if you want to go that direction at least get him get a competitive bid from the Stevester that would be an interesting piece that would be an interesting piece but I have to be straight with you it's stainless steel it's going to be heavy on the wrist I prefer a titanium titanium stunner a titanium stunner on wrist so there's that <clears throat> uh, let's see what else we got going on here uh, let's see and and Kyle says hey David Jaden says love my Seamaster 300 enjoy it as much as my sub which one do you have Please, details, details. Carlos says, Tom, I love the White Omega. That would be my choice, too. <clears throat> there you go. Um, and did you see Paul Thorpe's response to Archie's video? No, I, I got I to gotta check that out. I thought his video where he was, he was begging Watchbox for a... Uh, a, a deal, a contract. I thought that was hilarious. I'm going to send that over to Steve so he can watch it. He, he'd get a laugh out of that, too. I thought that was funny. You, you got to hand it to Archie. Archie's pretty funny. He's a funny, funny guy. <coughs> Archie. <coughs> Carlos is in the house. David Williams is in the house. He made it to the show. I thought he wasn't going to make it to the show. David, can, David, you can, since you're in the chat, you can actually plug your your 005 the watch on the right there that 005 stunner 005 super stunner that's a super stunner 005 David Williams has one for sale that comes with a crocodile Grand Seiko strap and a deployment bracelet in addition to the stainless steel bracelet that came with it from new David has that for sale and I think it's I think it's 2800 shipped to one of our subscribers, to a subscriber. I think he's taking 2800 shipped. So if somebody wants that watch, that would be a good piece of kit to get that whole kit, one owner kit. Let's see here. Um, Paul had to set the record straight. Uh, let's see. Carlos, not, okay. Why not get a day date, says Derek. <laughs> Derek in the house. There you go. That's a good, very good question for Tom. Why not just get a date eight? Well, date eight, first of all, is a lot more money, so there's that. And David's in the house. He says, at Tom Austin, at Kyle Jet. Okay. It's 13.5 mil. We've got another, we've got a number called 13.5 mils. 13.5 mils from Tom. That's acceptable for a sport watch. Little bit thick 
a little bit on the thick side for an all-arounder though just just to just so of course Tom has an 005 so he can wear that when he needs something that's a little more trim on the wrist let's see uh, and he also has a um, uh, he also has an Explorer which is very trim on the wrist by the way Tom I'm gonna highly recommend this is an intervention here intervention I'm gonna highly recommend if you get the Omega I would sell the Explorer I would sell the Explorer because you're gonna have two automatic watches it's gonna be very difficult to keep both of those watches running if you had the Omega in rotation with the 005 you'd have no worries because you could wear the Omega most of the time and keep it running and then you could switch off to the 005 anytime you want and it's, or it's of course going to be running fine because it's battery powered it's a grab and go watch but to try to keep two automatics running all the time that's problematic and I'm not a fan of winders I'm not a fan of winders and I'm not a fan of box watches I'm not a fan of having box watches so not on the channel here aqua terra fantastic watch there you go Craig I wonder how the public reaction will be about the lockdown if all these young folks come back from protesting and they're not coming down seriously ill in a few days well it takes two weeks so we're not going to know for t at least two weeks <clears throat> if this is going to cause a spike uh, and, and a problem and if we don't if we don't see a big problem in two or three weeks I think the proponents of the lockdowns which are already losing ground there's already a lot of people that are uh, coming to the end of their rope as far as patience with this lockdown fiasco so but if we don't see a big big spike in two to three weeks as a result of this then I think they're gonna lose all credibility I think those that are pro lockdown are going to will have lost all credibility at that point and I think it's gonna be very hard for them to sustain the lockdowns they're trying their best here in Maryland in the socialist state of Maryland they want to keep us locked down all year they want to keep us locked down indefinitely with all kinds of restrictions in place so that's how they want to do here in the Socialist Republic of Maryland Carlos is in the house someone is collecting collecting dangerous enemies an expert on knives someone who likes and have guns and the last one it seems that knows how to use weapons too um, okay <laughs> I'm not sure what you're talking about there Carlos but but let's see Bitcoin down 800 in four months oh is it let me look that's good because I've got a buy order in maybe my buy order got filled let me look look let me see if it's down let me look oh let me refresh this darn it I'll refresh and I'll give you a report I'll give you a report live here on the show if in fact it is down that much that would be very good news I'd I'd be well I'm, it needs to go down more it needs to go down to eight I gotta put an order in at 8230 okay so I know it looks like it's holding up it's at 95 95 82 so no it has not dipped it's holding it's holding strong you talking about the dip the other day um, oh let me let me try to refresh this well anyway let me do a time check while I refresh this I guess you're talking about when it went over 10,000 and then it pulled back down I guess you're talking about a dip a couple days ago or whatever um, so let me go to the uh, oh geez okay let me go to the one hour chart here okay so you're probably talking about the Bart Simpson here where where it was pumped up and then it went sideways for a while and then it dumped here so you're probably talking about this right here okay so that's old news yeah that's old news we're back where we started we're you know we were at 9500 or so and we're back at 9500 so I've got an order in at uh, 8230 8230 is this so it's got to dip down it's got to dip down like you know another 1300 bucks or so to fill my order so we ain't there yet we ain't there yet we shall see if we get there but we ain't there yet 
Um, uh, let's see. Uh, unless Kevin, unless you see something I'm not seeing, I'm seeing it's holding at at fifty at ninety five hundred plus dollars right now as we speak live. Okay, so let's see. Um, Kyle says, I posted a short clip of Main Street in Santa Monica on my channel. I shot it as authorities prepped for a protest. There you go. Thanks, Carlos and Blue Shirt. Okay. Um, fella is, is thanking for the wrench. And uh, let's see. I will. And Leon says he'll support him for a wrench. Well, he's got it. And Lance is in the house. Sent a photo of a stunning Seamaster. We'll take a look. Megan's in the house. And she says, hey, Craig. Hey, all. I hope Megan's got some Bitcoin. I hope she's squirreled away some Bitcoin. Every Everybody should have some Bitcoin squirreled away, I think. Lance is in the house. Craig, do you think that the Bulova lunar, lunar Pilot is a homage to the Omega Seamaster? If you want me to comment, send me a photo, and we'll take a look. We'll take a look, Lance. And David's in the house. My PO is 41.7 times... 45 L. I'm not sure what that. Oh, planet ocean. Okay. Your planet ocean. Okay. I got you. Um, Rwags, hey Chip and everybody. Good to see Blue Shirt Buddha back after a long absence. There you go. And Carlos is in the house. He says hello to Rwags. Rwags, what do you think about my, my, uh, hypothesis that, um, that some of these big companies, that make up the the indexes are doing well because a lot of their competition is being clear cut because of the government ordered shutdowns of all the small businesses so a lot of their competition is being clear cut out of the way and so they can prosper what do you think about that is that is that is that uh, controversial is that pretty wild pretty wild you know places like home depot and Lowe's, they've been packed with customers, right? Costco has been packed with customers this whole time. Meanwhile, their competition has been shut down, a lot of it. So there you go. Triforce Rich is in the house. Um, Tom, Jim, are you going to take Craig's 231? Tom, thanks for the 231 suggestion offer. It was near the top of my short list at first. However, when I tried it on, it was a little bit too large for me. Okay, the 44 mil a little bit too large there you go and uh, not sure I'm the right Tom okay um, let's see here uh, Leon I wish Omega would build the HE valve into the case the current model looks like it has a silver buttercup on it yeah some people don't like that now Let's go back. Let's go back and take a look. See, that's why that's why to me the Aqua Terra 150 is very interesting. It doesn't have the skeletonized hands, which I like, and it doesn't have the the uh helium escape valve. And it's 41 mils. I mean, that's pretty interesting. I wonder, does that come with a white dial? Food for thought, folks. Food for thought. Food for thought. That's what I say. Food for thought on that one. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, speaking of which, Craig, what do you think of the mess Dogman has gotten himself into? Mike on Haraji Talk seems to hate Dogman just like you. Dogman isn't making friends. I don't know. Why, what problem does Horology Talk have with him? I, I don't know what's going on there. But, um, I mean, the Dogman, I mean... I don't really know the guy, so I mean I can't really say I dislike the guy or hate the guy. I mean he's he's said a lot of stupid things. Um, he seems to be he seems to mislead a lot of his uh, listeners with falsehoods and bad advice, which I think is damaging to people. Uh, so, um, but he's a young guy, and maybe he'll learn. You know, I mean maybe maybe he'll learn with maturity. Um, who knows? But uh, 
but yeah, I, I think it's it's a shame that he gives out bad advice, and and of course he said some some horrible things about me. Uh, he doesn't know me from Adam, but you know, he's he's just kind of out there a little bit, and he's got some issues. But hopefully he'll get his act together. Um, Lamont's in the house, uh, and Stig's in the house. Hello, Megan, and our wags, uh, and. Carlos is saying hello to Lamont. And let's see, Dogman was brutal on Paul Thorpe. Okay, there you go. Um, well, I think he's got some pretty serious financial problems, Dogman. I think he's got some issues, and I think it might be affecting him mentally also. You know, when you're, when you're not financially sound and financially stable, that's sort of like your foundation, in my opinion. Your finances... People say, well, money doesn't matter and all this stuff, right? But I think uh, having a solid financial base, having solid finances, is sort of like a foundation that you build everything else up on top of. And if that foundation is very shaky, then I think a lot of things in your life can be shaky and you can have issues, okay? I think that's how that might work. Let me know in the chat what you guys think about that. That's pretty, pretty radical talk, right? Pretty radical talk. And Bree is in the house. It's hot today in Maryland. Yeah, I went out. I walked for about two hours today. It wasn't bad here because we would get a little bit of breeze off the mountain, and it's a little bit cooler here than it is where the lovely Brianna is. But, yeah, we're going to have some hot days coming up. That's the way we're going to have, especially once July gets here. July's our hottest month, and it'll be here in a jiffy. Snap your fingers and July will be here. That's how it works. Tom's in the house. I would like to add a white dial to my collection. There you go. Do they make a um, Aqua Terra with a white dial? Do they do that? That's a good question. I don't know if they do or don't. Um, uh, Megan and Lamont are best friends. They always come in pairs. There you go. Um... What's good, my dude, says Lamont. And David says, yes, post it on the GS group page and first on Facebook, 2800 full kit plus croc strap and deployant clasp shipped. That's not a bad deal for that piece of kit. Um, and Jane's in the house. The dogman was brutal and Paul Thorpe. I cannot find this video anymore. Okay, Leon. Uh, well, it looks like my under 1000 eBay GS is is almost to me. It is just like I bought it from Japan instead of Tennessee. USPS decided to ship from Tennessee to Michigan and then to Maryland. Oh, geez. So when are you going to get it? You're going to get it tomorrow? Do tell. Do you have a delivery day yet? I watch Craig, Archie, and also okay. Um, let's see, uh, Tim, uh, timeless luxury watches Omega Seamaster at about 13.7 mil. It's not particularly thin, but it has avoided the rather absurd thickness of some of its contemporaries. 13.7 millimeter seems reasonable. Here's the thing. It is for a sport watch, for a straight-up sport watch. This one's, I think, 14.1 mils. It's like right around 14 mils thick. and But it's a straight-up sport watch. I would not want to wear this as an all-arounder. So it depends on what you're using the watch for. Anything up to like 14 mils, it, you know, 13 to 14 mils, that's, yeah, that's sport watch territory. Anything over 14 mils, let's say it's 15, 16, 17 mils. I mean, I think that's just too thick, period. I, to tell you the truth, if this was any thicker than it is, I wouldn't have bought it. It, it lays pretty good on the wrist because of the, the lug design and everything. So I can get by with this. I, this is acceptable to me for a sport watch. But if it was any thicker, I, I probably would not have bought the watch. It's right on that edge where it, it would have been too thick. Let's say if it was 15 mils or something, I would have probably said, no, this is just not going to happen. 
So, uh, Craig, would you consider having Mr. Thorpe on for a live show? He needs a bit of convincing on GS, I reckon. Still hung up on the brand name. Um, well, I mean, I doubt he would come on my show. But, yeah, if he would like to Skype into the show, he'd always be welcome. Absolutely. Any watch people are welcome to Skype into the show and join the discussion. And the lovely Brianna, by the way, is also uh, welcome to Skype in and uh, share her pearls of wisdom. Uh, let's see here. And Leon says, at Brief Fit Dance, tell me about the heat. My cats are not happy with the rising heat. The Explorer is sentimental to me. I appreciate your objective uh, suggestion, Tom, in the house. Well, 002, real fast. Let's do a time check on the 002. Let's do an official, official time check on the 002. So we know that the uh, GMT is about a second fast, uh, right about a second fast. So what we'll do is we'll do a freeze frame on this thing. We'll do a freeze frame on this thing at 15 seconds on the 005, right there, bam. Okay, so, um, so the hair over 10 seconds fast. It's a hair over 10 seconds fast. And that's been, you know, what, five weeks? So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's not bad. That's well within specs. Uh, I, I have no problem with that. I would have a serious problem if it was 10 seconds slow, even though that would be within specs. I do not like a slow watch. Do not like a slow watch. But um, we'll, we'll know more after another month or so because, again, sometimes these spring drives settle in after a few weeks and they get a little bit more accurate, has been my experience, not less accurate. So we'll see after a uh, couple weeks what, uh, what's going on. But that's very acceptable to me, very acceptable uh, to me. R. Wags is in the house. He says, hi, Carlos and Stig. Okay, and the lovely Bree says, Leon, I don't have pets but yes, it's hot. Hopefully it can help fade the virus away. The virus is, is uh, pretty much a non-issue. <laughs> we're, we're down to, just to put this in perspective, folks, for those of you that are scared to death of this virus, we're down to about 700 deaths a day in the entire country of 350 million people, or how many people we have, right? 700 deaths a day. And more than half of those are in nursing homes, okay? So the odds of you getting this thing and dying from it are extremely small. It's much more likely that you're going to die in a car accident, okay? Just so you know, just to put things in perspective here. And, of course, the media will not tell you this information. They will not tell you this information at all because it doesn't fit their narrative of keeping you scared to death and keeping you at home and watching, the, that watching them on TV. They want you to watch them for updates on all of this stuff. And there you go. That's how all that works. Um, so if you're putting your life on hold for this silly virus, um, then I would call that a big, big mistake. Um, let's see here. Tom, you can have Lance uh, kind of slave for some time for that watch. Uh, Leon's in the house. Craig, you are the only watch YouTube channel I watch. Other than that, I use YouTube for the 1980s videos and folks camping out in their cars. <laughs> Leon in the house. Cool. Cool, cool. Kyle's in the house. I, st I still think we could use a Riot Watches round two video. Did I only do part one of the Riot Watches? I'll have to do a part two if we only did a part one. I thought we did two parts to that, but we might have to do a... But the Riots are kind of, of, are kind of um, waning right now. They're kind of on their way out, I think. I think the media is going to switch to talking about the virus again here pretty soon. I think that's a, I think they're going to go back to that old bone, the old virus bone, and start chewing on that one again. So Tom's in the house. Uh, Triforce Rich is in the house, and and he says um, indentured servant. I think he meant indentured servant. Uh, listen to your lawyer and use the terminology I give you. 
Okay. Um, I would gladly work if I was going to get a nice Rolex Explorer. There you go. There's a there's a kid that's willing to work for, for his soup. Kevin's in the house. Yes, the other day it dropped from 10.3 to 9,500. Yeah, this is what Bitcoin does. Bitcoin goes up and Bitcoin goes down. And uh, that's that's the way that works. But those of us that are long-term holders doesn't bother us one bit. We don't we don't panic. We 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 have a strong hand. We do buy dips sometimes. We do buy dips, but I need a bigger dip than that to buy. I've got a like I said, I've got an order in at eighty two hundred, eighty two hundred and something. So it's got to go down to that, and I'll snatch I'll snatch some more Bitcoin. Let's see here. Um, and Triforce Rich is in the house. Uh, you have to come to Asia, Lance. There you go. He can come to Asia. He'll work in Asia. Lands in the house. The Bulova Lunar Pilot is a homage to one-off uh, Bulova Chrono. Oh, oh, let's go check the email. Um, what do you think about o Omega Railmaster? I think I like some of the Railmasters. But let me go look here in the... Uh, we got a bunch of... Um, we got a bunch of, uh, we got one from Jaden. <clears throat> Jaden sent this one in with a stunner alert with it. Stunner alert with it. There you go. So there's one from Jaden. And uh, Lance, Lance sent this one in. Uh, this is an unusual piece. That's unusual. I kind of like that, that stainless steel bezel. That's kind of different, and it's got no skeletonized hands. That is very interesting. Very, very interesting, Lance. You're starting to learn, Lance. You're starting to learn about what's a good-looking watch. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. You're starting to learn. But then again, I spoke too soon. Look, look what he sent me now. Hold on a second here. <laughs> Jeez. Are you kidding me? No, we'll pass on both of those. Pass on both of those. We certainly don't need a chronograph. We certainly don't need something that, that that's that busy. And the Omega Speedmaster is not a very well-made watch. I hate to be the one to break the news to you guys. It's not a very well-made watch. Okay. All right. Now... Um, let's go back to, let's go see if we can find the Railmaster. <clears throat> the Railmaster. Let's do a time check while we bring this up. Oh, for crying out loud. Let me see if I can pull it up here. Menu. Okay. The collection. And where is the Railmaster? Constellation Seamaster DeVille Specialties. They don't even have the Railmaster listed? Look at this. This is ridiculous. Constellation, Seamaster, Speedmaster, DeVille, Specialties. Where the hell's the Railmaster? Is it under Specialties? Um. You tell me, guys. Uh, see all the specialties. <coughs> I hate these poorly designed websites. It just really burns me up. Um, let's see here. Um, um, Hmm. They make a lot of watches. Just hesitating on some of these because some of these are a little bit interesting. Um. Wow, that thing is twenty-one thousand dollars. Are you kidding me? They got some silly, silly prices on some watches in here. There's a Railmaster that's sixty-eight hundred dollars. Okay. 
Uh, 38 mil. That's nice. Nice size. It's not available. I give up. I give up on these stupid, stupid websites and stupid companies. Jeez. Okay. All right. Uh, I hate to say it, folks, but just buy Grand Seiko's. Just buy a Grand Seiko from Steve and be done with it. I, I think it's. I think that might be the way to go. Um, might be the way to go. Uh, yes, there is a white dial Aquaterra. I would be interested in the 38 millimeter version. Cool, Tom. Uh, can you send us a link so I can pull it up? Because I, 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 it could take me forever to find it on here. Let, let, let me try, though. I'm going to try. Let me try to find the Aquaterra. Um... Let me try to find it. Um, okay. Oh, here's an Aquaterra. And I'm, I'm assuming that it, I'll show you it in a second once it loads in. This one's on a strap, but I'm assuming you can get a, a, a bracelet for it. I think they do that with all of them. Okay. Aquaterra. Here we go. Stand by, folks. Stand by. Okay. I'm, I'm keeping... I'm trying to get it on this white one. I'm doing my best. Oh, boy. Okay, so this one is, I, I guess you're calling that a white doll? It looks like gray to me. Maybe they, maybe they make a different one that's white. But anyway, this is called, this is the Golf Edition. And I'm not a big fan of the orange. I'd much rather that be red. Uh, and I, of course, want it on a bracelet. But yeah, if you can send me a link to an Aquaterra that's straight up white, I'd like to take a look and see what that looks like. That might be something interesting. Because this one's 41 mils anyway. This isn't the 38 mil that you're talking about. I'd like to see what that one looks like. Carlos is in the house. I'm really amazed that the stock market recovery is being so fast. I was not discarding the possibility of Dow Jones Industrial getting to 10,000 before starting to recover. Well, it may still, we may still have a big sell-off once a lot of earnings start coming in and if things don't look as good and rosy as people think they're going to be, uh, we may still have another big sell-off. I, I, you know, I wouldn't discount that. I, don't, I, I wouldn't say we're totally out of the woods yet. We could be. We might not be, too. So, yeah. So there's that. Uh, let's see. When I put Aquaterra on the wrist, it was best. It was best watch from a mega offering for me. No Planet Ocean is massive. No Speedmaster, only Aquaterra. There you go. The dog man is just a nasty individual. Whoa. Okay. Well, that could be the case. Our wags is in the house. Craig, yes, small owner-managed businesses are suffering tremendously while the big businesses are doing very well. It's very unfair. Well, maybe there, maybe that was intended. Maybe that's, you know, what they wanted to do. They wanted to wipe all these little guys out. Because one thing I have heard, some of the conspiracy theorists say, is that the government wants to get rid of all the small businesses because they're harder to control and harder to regulate. The big, big behemoths, they can go in and kind of dictate, okay, you do this and you do that, you know, and, and they can kind of work in cahoots with them right whereas it's it, it, it's much harder for the government to get in cahoots with a whole bunch of small businesses all over the place all decentralized and all spread out you know you, you can't work out arrangements with them right because it's too many people you have to deal with so maybe they're 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 clear cutting a lot of these small businesses on purpose uh, so that then they can of course control the big companies and then I don't know what they're going to do I guess they're gonna 
hope hope that all these entrepreneurs just just go to work for big companies and basically become slaves and um, basically end up with everybody enslaved. Maybe that's where we're headed. Only solution, I think, buy Bitcoin, folks. Buy Bitcoin. That's the only way to step outside of all of that. There you go. And Derek says, who is the dog man? Leon's in the house. There was a white Aquaterra quartz model. I bought one used from Little Treasury. Yes, the Aquaterra is Omega's best watch currently made. It is a great watch if you only want one watch. Leon in the house. Um, do you still have your Aquaterra? Please do tell and tell me what the size of it is. Please tell me what the size is. Uh, we like details on this channel. Um, and uh, Jeepu says Goldberg. Mark Goldberg. Yeah, that's his name. All right. I think that's his name. Tom's in the house. Carlos, yes, I've been waiting and anticipating a second large pullback of the stock market, but maybe it's not coming. And David's in the house. Omega AT is a great all-arounder. If I did not have PO, I would be inter interested in considering it. Uh, does have white doll versions, okay. And uh, Lance is in the house. If anybody could send me a nice link to to a, a good looking one, I'd like to pull it up and show it here. Uh, Lance is in the house. Uh, Dogman, aka Mark Goldberg, is another watch YouTuber that is extremely nasty. Jeez, <laughs> oh, Jeepu. Uh, does the Dogman still have his GS Diver? Uh, Mark Goldberg spouted vile rubbish has been listening to Archie too long uh, yes Lance Dogman is nasty uh oh Archie and Dogman are best friends uh, Jeepu check out the SBGX 259 okay we'll do that And folks, we're going to go for about another 10 minutes, and then we're going to be wrapping this up. So get any links in to me that we're going to show. Oh, yeah, we've looked at this watch many times. Yeah, this is the entry-level uh, 9F. That's a stunner, absolute stunner for an all-around piece. All-around stunner option, a stunner option. Uh, let's see here. Um, Hey, Craig, how much is a Grand Seiko Snowflake, Eduardo? I think they're 5800 list price, but I think you can see them for as little as like 4500 or so used in decent shape. Keyword being decent, I don't think it would be mint condition at that price. It might have a little bit of wear and tear, but it should be pretty damn nice for around that price used, I would think. But uh, I think 5800 is list still. I believe that's still list. Okay, uh, Tom, great option on the C, uh, on the Seamaster if you're looking to get a white in the collection. Jaden in the house. Tom, I originally chose my Explorer over the Aqua Terror, and I still believe I made a good decision. <clears throat> well, the Explorer is is a stunner. It's a stunner all around piece. It's hard to beat an Explorer for an all arounder. Uh, yeah, that's absolutely amazing. And to tell you the truth, my advice to you really, Tom, if I was going to really give you the advice, is I would just rotate the 005 with the Explorer and call it a day. I wouldn't buy another watch. I mean, that's the way I would do it. Uh, you know, you've got, in the Explorer, you've got a great versatile piece that's that's sporty enough to to meet the role of a sport watch. And then you've got the 005 Stunner as an all-arounder grab-and-go piece uh, that, you know, I mean, my gosh, you've got a, a perfect combo, combo meal deal of Stunners there. I don't really think you need to add another thing to the mix. You might want to take that money and put it in Bitcoin. Not financial advice on this channel, but that's probably what I would do. It's probably what I would do. Okay, um, Derek is asking, is he Christian? I'm not sure who he's asking about. Uh, uh, Tom, 
uh, yes, it's a good decision because you're getting Lance as your faithful servant for it. <laughs> Lance in the house. I think tomorrow, as it is in Hyattsville, Maryland, as we speak. Okay, there you go, Leon in the house. There is Aquaterra White Dial, good, good planet uh, par project. Okay. And Arwag says you're right, Chip, about having enough money to be comfortable while not worrying about the bills to pay. Money doesn't make you happy, but it can give you a sense of comfort, much less stress. There you go. There you go. That's right. And stress is one of the risk factors for the thing, for getting the thing and having a bad income, a, a, a bad result is stress. So, yeah, you want to minimize stress. And also, by the way, if you have enough resources, <clears throat> you can eat well. You can take plenty of time to exercise and take care of yourself. If you do have to go to a doctor, heaven forbid, uh, you can do that and, 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 and deal with that situation. Uh, if you're broke, I mean, it, it can cause a lot of problems, I think. I think that, that could cause a lot of problems. So there you go. Carlos is in the house. Uh, Tom, the problem that I see is that Atlantis would be needing some plastic surgery to look as a local there. <laughs> Uh-oh. Tom's in the house. Lance, one of the of your first jobs can be to get me a Hoffman sub. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, well, that'll, that'd be tough to get a Hoffman sub delivered over there. Uh, San Diego has broken 80 degrees today. Chi-Town in the house. Lucia Buddha says, uh, hey, pal, okay, and Hoffman Subs is now world famous thanks to Craig. I'm going to have to get me one. I might get one this week. It's been a while since I've had one. Uh, let's see. Tom's in the house, and uh, and he says at Carlos, okay, uh, does the 002 hack? Yes, it does. Yes, it does hack. Uh, let's see here. Tom Austin, as long as I get the Rolex in the end. <laughs> Derek says, Craig, uh, we, uh, when can I do a Skype call from my place? Uh, do you have my Skype? You can do it any time during the show. Just let us know in the chat when you're doing it, and I'll make sure Skype is ready, and you can Skype in. And if you don't have it, email me, and I'll send it to you. But, yeah, just give us a heads up, and you can Skype. Usually I like to t get a Skype call, you know, 15 minutes into the show, half hour into the show. Uh, and it's always good to get a, a, a Skype call into the show to get some variety in here. Carlos is in the house. Lance, what is your height? Depending on that, the surgery would be more or less complicated. Uh, I must say it would be a great choice of a watch for you to work towards, says Tom. Well, yeah. Uh, Carlos, I'm about 5'7 right now. Well, then the height shouldn't be a problem. And Joey's in the house, so your 002 is two second a week fast compared to Rolex two second a day fast. Yes, that's about right, Joey. That's about right. That's right. And see, I I mean, I've been spoiled by the 231 because it's about one second a month fast. <laughs> you know, it's insane. But that's not normal for a spring drive. I mean, that's insanely accurate. Normal is more like what my 002 is doing. I mean, that's that's pretty normal. That's about what my snowflake was, one of my snowflakes. One of my snowflakes was more accurate than the other. Remember, I had two, um, but uh, that that's about the same, roughly close. Yeah. Um, so, let's see. I know you like the Datejust 2, though, Lance. Okay. Well, Fox will, as they hate crazy liberals in CNN Fox is telling Fox is telling the virus as it is very few are telling it as it is though very few are talking about the fact that young people for example are, are f like 15 times more likely to die from the normal flu than from this this thing right I mean the, the normal flu is actually more dangerous to them I mean have you heard any of them say that no of course not because it doesn't fit the narrative that they want right and so, yeah, it's been, um, I think you have to be, I think anything up to 50 years of age, or maybe it's 40, I don't forget where the cutoff is, but 
let's let's call it 40 years of age like 40 years of age and younger you're actually more likely to die from the normal flu than from this thing and nobody says that right matter of fact they pull out isolated incidents of a young person getting it and having a bad situation either dying or getting very sick or whatever they pull that you know rare scenario out and then they make a big deal out of it right like it's going to happen to everybody that's young so yeah they've been very dishonest with the numbers and with reporting what's going on very very dishonest uh let's see poor caters bring virus to care homes is sealed closed environment and greedy owner don't spend for deep cleaning yeah, I mean, they've shown that when you're in an enclosed area for, for long periods of time, that that's dangerous. And, and, of course, so they lock down everybody and tell everybody to stay at home in an enclosed area for a long period of time. I mean, they're, they're telling people to do the exact opposite of what they should do. They should go out and get some fresh air and get some vitamin D, get some sunlight, right? That's what they should do. And they should go to work and run their business and so on and so forth. But they tell them to stay at home and go broke and have a lot of stress so that their you know high high level of stress makes them makes their immune system weaker right so they're they're creating a scenario where the people are more at risk not less at risk but anyway let, let's not go down that rabbit hole here because it's really disgusting what um, the elected officials have done and um, it's really disgusting um, okay Speaking of the 80s, I watched a video of a compilation of the sounds from Group B rally cars. That was a wild era. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. And, like, the Paris to Dakar race and stuff, that, that, that was awesome. Carlos, uh, Lance, sorry to say it will be a bit more painful than what I was expecting. I would consider doing it in the U.S. before going. Okay. Tom's in the house. Nice to see you around this part of the dark web, Blue Shirt Buddha. Try for switch, Lance. Come come work for me under a 10-year contract and you'll get the day date i'm starting my business right now and you'll gain a ton of experience in finances and business law there you go there's a straight up offer from triforce rich from triforce rich a 10-year contract there you go we're gonna have a bidding war here of people hiring the lanster and Blue Shirt Buddha's in the house. LOL, thanks. Okay. Um, Lance, when things get back to normal, go and get... Let me see. This is probably a scammer. Hello? Yes. Who are you trying to reach? It's who? I think so. Yeah, I think you might have. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Some idiot. Okay. Idiots out there, folks. There's idiots out there running loose. They're out there running loose. Okay. You got to watch it. Got to watch it. Okay. So let's see what else we got here. Uh, when things get back to normal, and go and get a job with a jeweler that's a Rolex AD. AD. Have them take portion of each check out for a Rolex. Leon in the house, coming coming forward with a good choice, a good solution. Blue Shirt Buddha, Buddha got to go. He's got to go. He says later, and Lance says, Leon, uh, that sounds like a good idea. Triforce says, see a Blue Shirt Buddha. We're gonna you know, we're gonna wrap up here shortly. Craig, can you extend what you think? Um, can you extend what you think? Why Speedmaster is not well-made watch i don't like the movements in them in most of them uh yeah i just think the quality isn't that great on them and i've seen a lot of reviewers that are legitimate reviewers comment on that over the years now they may be better now or they may have improved them uh but yeah i would stay away uh, i just have no interest so yeah but if people want to buy them they can buy them i just think it's a way way overhyped watch uh, Railmaster is under Seamaster. There you go. A G -poo. Uh Yeah, they they just want to make it confusing for people like me. Just just make it confusing. Why not just have a separate listing there that I can just click on? It would make it a lot easier. It's called 
UI, user interface, right? Have a good user interface. Don't assume that people know all these things. Eduardo's in the house. Lance, doubtful it's that easy to get a job in a jewelry store. Oh, I think he can get one. He's a good clean-cut kid. He'll probably be able to get one. Carlos, Lance, all that pain would pay part of the Explorer if you survive. <laughs> uh, Jaden says, Craig, that was my SBGN007. It came in early today. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. That's good to know. You should Skype in and show that puppy off, too. Uh, let's see. Triforce Rich, that day date you have is probably the most beautiful Rolex ever made. I would sign a 10-year contract for that. There you go. Good day, Jaden. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Tom says, the $21,000 you saw was for a three-watch trilogy set, Craig. Okay, I hope so. Uh, the current Railmaster uses the same case as the Aquaterra. Okay. Railmaster is in the Seamaster collection. Okay, everybody's telling me that now. Craig, what is holding GS back from a strong secondary market? Well, a lot of people don't want to buy a, quote, Seiko, right? A lot of people haven't gotten the memo that it's a fantastic watch. So it's still kind of a niche, you know, watch uh, w with a limited limited market because, again, a lot of people just aren't aware of, of what's going on with all that. So I think that's the biggest thing. Um it's slowly changing. Resale values are, are slowly getting stronger, I think. But uh, I think that could be the main thing. Tom's in the house. The Tokyo 2020 edition might be worth collecting. Trevor's, uh, let's see. You make me blush. Okay. Uh, one day you'll have the day date. Thanks for the compliment. There you go. Anyone ever buy a leather strap directly from Rolex? If you live in Hong Kong, uh, I would still have bad feelings to Japan after World War II. Okay. O O T O O2 seems like it's pretty fast, Dan, in the house. Uh, about 10 seconds in five weeks, that's not bad. That's not too bad. <clears throat> uh, so there you go. Uh, you know, two seconds a week or so. Uh, let's see. Triforce Rich. Uh, Eduardo, don't you think they'd even sell you one unless you have a model of a watch? Okay, all right, there you go. Uh, so they won't even sell the strap to you? That's that's not good. Lewis is in the house. I'm late. What's this? Is Craig promoting Omega over GS, Lewis? We talked about Omega a lot, Lewis. You are late. We're getting ready to wrap up. Eduardo's in the house. 36 millimeter day chest may do. You could use Google Image. It's easier to navigate than these brands' website. <laughs> You're right about that. That's why I was asking you guys to just email me the link. That That's even easier. Okay, we've got some links here. Um, okay. Lance sent me an ugly Omega. I guess we'll have to show it. There you go. There's Lance's ugly Omega. I concur. That is ugly. All right, let's see what else... We got here, and then we're gonna we are gonna wrap this up. Here's a white dial, and this one is on. Uh, this is an Aquaterra. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of strange looking to tell you the truth. I think it's a little bit strange looking. I got oh, it's got a GMT function also. I mean, it's if you like it. If you like it, I mean, it's obviously different. Um, I'd kind of probably have to see it in person because th these look like renderings. Uh, it might be a lot better in person. These look like they're all renderings. Uh, so is this one, and this is titanium. That's very interesting. It's very interesting that it's titanium. Now, I, I, I'm assuming it's grade 5 titanium. That could be interesting. I'd have to see it in person, though. These renderings, probably, may, probably uh, my guess is the renderings don't do it justice, but I do like the red with the blue and the white dial. Yeah, that would be an interesting possibility. 
Uh, 36 millimeter adjustment. Okay, you could. You, okay, there we go. I already read that. Okay, okay. Bezos sold in February. He can rebuy anything and more. He can buy more businesses and Amazon and like lockdown earned more and killed small businesses. Absolutely, they did. They're, they're clear cutting their competition, just clear cutting them. And Tom's in the house. Uh, let's see. I trashed that Trump. I trashed that Trump check in a day over at Fat Jack's. <laughs> okay. And the lovely Brianna's in the house. Uh, businesses are being destroyed by the riots. That's right. I mean, this has been a one two punch. There's been the virus, the government ordered shutdown. And, no, and make no mistake about it, folks. It is not the virus that killed these small businesses, it's the government ordered shutdown not the virus. It's these draconian acts by, by these jackbooted thugs in the government ordering all these businesses to shut down. That's what's clear-cutting and, and, and ruining people's lives, clear-cutting these businesses. And then you got the one-two punch of they didn't enforce the law, and when these riots happened, the, the police didn't crack down and enforce the law, and they let these rioters just run around and burn places. You know, we'll give them space, just like they did in Baltimore. We'll, we'll give them some space to blow off steam. You know, they, they literally let them wreck these businesses. A lot of them small owner-operator businesses. It is really disgusting uh, what, uh, what the government has done in, the, in this case. Really, really disgusting. So there's that. Um, uh, let's see, business and property insurance providers have their work cut out for them now. And a lot of these things are probably not going to be covered by insurance. A lot of business owners, especially these small businesses, they just can't afford it. And they don't have proper insurance. And a lot of the insurance policies have loopholes that, that they'll be able to wiggle out and, and not pay. And a lot of them will drag their heels. And a lot of them that do pay out, they won't pay as, as much as they should. It's very problematic to try to to make yourself whole with an insurance policy. It's not, it's certainly not an automatic thing. Craig sent you an email with white doll titanium. Yeah, I did look at that. Okay, and the lovely Bree says good idea. Triforce. I've never met with Carlos. Uh, quick, grab all the puppies and hide them. Uh, we have not broken bread together and. Craig, I recommend you add a Gillette Vintage Adjustable Slim to your razor collection. 1960s made in USA, eBay, great. But I'll tell you what. The quality of these timeless razors is freaking amazing. You're not going to find any Gillette that is going to equal the quality of these puppies. So, yeah, I won't be doing that anytime soon. I've got plenty of razors right now. I've got more than enough. That, I mean, one of these would last a lifetime, right? So, um, yeah, I highly recommend the Timeless timeless Razor, Timeless Razor. But I do hear what you're saying. By the way, bought a Timeless Aluminum today. Whoa, wow. Well, you will freaking love it. You will not be shaving with that uh, Gillette <laughs> after you get that puppy. Uh, let, me know, let me know when you get it. And if you can Skype in, Skype in and show it to us. Cheetown's in the house. Craig, do you prefer the Oyster Petrol 39 or the Explorer 39? I like them both. I like some things about some of the Oyster Perpetual dials, and I like the Explorer. But I really, to tell you the truth, would rather have the 36 mil Explorer, I think. I think I, think I would rather have the 36. But, yeah, I, I think either one of those, is it's almost like a coin toss. I, I like them both. I really do. I know that's a cop-out, but I, I just really, really do. Jaden's in the house. More options on the 39. You're right. There's some really cool dials that you can get on those. Lamont, you're still on, my pops. <laughs> okay. uh, you go in the Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, yo, Lamont, pick me up a 12-piece bucket. Uh, Jaden, uh, I'm trying to get through these comments because I'm trying to wrap this puppy up. Tom's in the house. Uh uh, thanks, Craig. I appreciate the advice. I knew you might say that about sticking with two watches. However, I would like a diver, and I would then be content with a versatile steel stunner trio. There you go, Tom in the house. Uh, let's see. Why not red grape is different. Okay. 
I believe Lance sent another email. Um, okay. Uh, save up PS5. Okay. It may have been knocked during the looting. Okay. Uh, let's see. Jaden. Okay. I'm just going through here as quick as I can. Uh, uh, these arsons are a gift for big business who will buy up the properties with small businesses that burned out and open up chain locations. I don't think anyone needs a razor collection, says Jaden. You just need a couple of good, uh, timeless razors, and you're good to go there. Uh, Craig should get Paul on the channel. Okay. Who, which Paul? All right, let me check this, and then I'm going to wrap this puppy up. Oh, no more emails. No more emails. No more emails. All right. Final time check. Also, we asked Craig, said, is more than welcome if he wants. Okay. All right. We're going to do a last time check. The 002 Stunner is on the bench. The 002 Stunner is on the bench with the 005. And we're going to wrap this puppy up. We've solved all the world's problems once again. We've solved all the world's problems once again. So, thank you all. And click subscribe and click the bell so you get notifications. Click that bell.